Happy month of March, Scorpio. Happy month of March. This is your astro tarot reading for the month of March. And let me tell you, uh, Scorpio, this is going to be a powerful month for you. And the reason why it's going to be a powerful month is because Pluto, your ruler, is going to be shifting signs. It's going to shift into the sign of Aquarius, and that's going to change uh, your, your direction um, in your life, but it's only going to be for three months this year, and it's going to come back in the year 2024, but we're going to talk about that a little later, but for the meantime, just know that this is a major shift for you, and this is going to be a very interesting month in terms of your creativity and um, also your work. So I have four decks of tarot cards, and I am going to read a card from each one of these decks to give you a message and see what direction the oracles recommend that you, uh, what path you may follow. So loneliness is here. So loneliness is a card that maybe you should do things alone. Maybe there is a need for you to get away from certain energies, certain people. Do you find yourself in toxic situations or people that you feel as though don't mean you well? A loneliness also means that you have to get alone, alone to um, focus on your own thoughts, to listen to your own voice. This is a card of solitude and quietness and peacefulness and not not lonely in terms of longing to be with someone else but lonely aloneness longing to be with yourself your spirit your soul to be grounded to find complacency and to get to know yourself a lot better and to get away from the distractions of others so this is going to be a very very interesting month for you to find your own path and not listen to the advice or the, uh, the uh, you know, the talks and the information from others. So on the second, Mercury, the planet of communication, is going to be in your house of creativity. And this might be the time for you to be more creative, to be alone with your creativity, to find ways of tapping into your inner creative resources by not being distracted by the needs and the demands of others. This can be a very fertile time for your mind. This is your creative, uh, your mental creativity will increase. And I just want to say that you have to be careful because people from your past will be trying to contact you. And I don't know if there's something that you need to have an answer to or somebody that you've been missing, but somebody from your past can get in touch with you and maybe want to have a conversation or clear up something that happened in the past and find clarity. My second deck of tarot cards. Let's see what the message is for the second deck of tarot card for you this month, Scorpio. The second card is adjustments are required. Adjustments are required. So let me ask you something. Is there something that you've been struggling with or wrestling with? Some issue, some matter, some problem, something that you need to uh, make an adjustments with? Is it Adjustments with your habits? Is it adjustments with your weight? Adjustments with your diet? Is it an adjustment in your personal relationships? Is it an adjustment in love? Is it an adjustment with family members? Adjustments are required to bring peace or understanding. Peace or understanding. And it's very interesting that on the 7th, there is going to be a full moon. There's going to be a full moon in your a uh, house of friendships. So maybe there is an adjustment that needs to be done in a friendship. The full moon always brings information that has been hidden or brings our attention to something we are not paying attention to. It enlightens us. It shines light. So there is going to be a situation that the full moon will bring to your attention and that may be or may bring an answer to something that you've been working with or an adjustment that needs to be done and you're not quite sure what to go what way to go or what the answer is and that full moon just might bring the answer that you need on my for my third deck of tarot cards the third deck of tarot cards let's see what the 
uh, answer is, let's see what this deck has to say, what message it has to bring to you, is lovers. Oh, very interesting. Lovers. So the lovers card is definitely here. Now that's very interesting because that full moon also can bring a situation for it regarding a love situation. On the 7th, the full moon is not the only transit that's going to happen for you. On the 7th, Saturn, the planet of restrictions, the planet of hard work, the planet of discipline is going to go into your house of romance, your house of creativity. You might be involved in a you know, uh, a spiral of dealing with bad relationships, with people who don't appreciate you, with lovers who, you know, don't treat you well, or with people who disregard you and you don't really know how to defend yourself. So Saturn is going to come and bring a restriction of the type of people that you have allowed yourself to be with that are unworthy of you. Saturn can also help to work on your creativity. If you're like all over the place, if you have a talent or if you're trying to work on a project and it's a good project, you feel it's a good project, you feel as though the spirit is um, telling you to do this and you haven't been able to get to get it together. You've been scattered. Saturn is going to help you pull it together. Gather. Saturn is going to make your creative dreams come true. It's going to bring more discernment to you and more organization to your creativity. And it's also going to allow you to express your sexual energy in uh, more productive ways and be with that people that, that respect you more, that know how to treat you more and allow you to get out of toxic situations. My fourth deck of tarot cards, let's see what the message is, which is fourth deck of tarot cards. The fourth deck says diligence. Well, diligence means to be determined, have determination. Don't just start something and not finish it. To be determined. Diligence means to stick with something. What is it that you've been working on that you have not been able to stick with? Is that, cre is that that creative project that we've been talking about? Is there something that you've been needing to do, wanting to do, and haven't been able to finish it, focus on it? Um, there's going to be a lot of uh, determined energy coming your way to help you focus. And with Saturn there, Saturn is going to bring you the willpower to stick with things that uh, your heart desires, and that's going to change your life for the better. On the 16th, Venus, the planet of love, is going to be entering into your house of love. So that whole issue is about lovers. Lovers, love relationships is going to come to the fore forefront because Venus is about more loving energy. And you have to ask yourself, are you in a love relationship that gives you the love and affection that you need? you are going to be able to have more affectionate partnerships if it's with the right person. So now this is the interesting thing. If you're in a situation and you're not getting the affection that you need, you may decide to make a change. And you may decide that I don't deserve being in an unloving relationship or an unaffectionate relationship. You don't want to be partnerships with somebody you've been with for 10 years. You want to have somebody that's affectionate and loving uh, with you. So Venus is going to be in your house of love, bringing forward some very strong love energy, <clears throat> which is going to be wonderful. Also, there's going to be some interesting things happening for you, starting on the 19th with Mercury is going to shift into your house of work and change the way you look and feel about your work, your work conditions. Um, are you on a job that you suddenly think is not worth you? You feel as though you can do better. This is a really good time for you to think about taking a test to uh, upgrade your skills or think about getting some education to get better work skills. You're going to be thinking about ways to get a better work situation, and that's going to be happening after the 19th. On the 20th, the sun is also going to join your house of employment. 
the sun brings growth, a new work condition, or a new job offer can come. Some light, something fresh, something grows in your employment situation, and you are enormously, you can be enormously happy about it. And then joining these two planets will be a new moon, a new moon on the 21st. Well, the new moon brings new direction. There will be a new direction for you. So after from the 19th until the 21st, there's going to be enormous employment interests. The direction of your, your, your job, work concerns, a new job offer can come. You know, you are going to be more concerned whether you're wasting your time at this job or that job, or if wasting your time is affecting your health. Better habits, better daily habits. You're going to stop procrastinating. You're going to find ways to get what you want and get them and get them that are very productive and, and, and more productive matters. This is going to be a very significant time for empowering your finances and getting the job that you so desire. And that's going to be enormously important for you. Now, back to your, your, you know, your ruler, Pluto. Yes, Pluto, the planet of transformation and control is going to be entering into your house of home, influencing your relations with your family, where you live, how you live. Pluto is a planet of power transformation. You're going to be able to find more stability or finding the inner strength within yourself to make changes. If you have some bad habits, Pluto's going to help you get rid of those habits. It's going to stabilize you. It's going to stabilize your family issues or help you transform family issues. If you are in a toxic situation with your family and you can't change them, Pluto's going to change you and allow you to get out of it. Or to let you realize that you can't help other people, but you can only help yourself. Pluto is only going to be in, in that house, the, your, your, uh, your sector, your fourth sector for home and family for three months. And that's going to start on the 23rd, but it's just a little preview of what's to come starting in the year 2024. So pay attention to what happens around your home, your family issues after the 23rd, because you will know what is coming your way during the year 2024. And on the 25th, Mars, the planet of motivation moving forward, energy will be entering into your mental sector. Ooh, you're going to have a lot of brain power. Your mind is going to be on fire this, this month. You got all that creative energy. Mercury's going to be in your house of creativity, allowing you to do something creative or to find ways of making a dream come true for yourself. And then you're going to have Mars there. Also, you might decide to take a trip, travel, do more socializing, learn. You may decide, finally, I'm going to sign up for that seminar, that class. Go ahead and take that test. Start studying for that test. I need to upgrade my skills. No more. You know, you're going to, um, if you travel, you're going to do, uh, uh, connect with people that give you information. This is going to be a very resourceful time mentally for you where you find information and gather information. It's going to be a very, uh, interesting time for the, 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 uh, grabbing, sharing, imparting <laughs> information and also a lot of communications. You're going to be talking to a lot of different people and making some very interesting social connections this month. So, okay, Scorpio, for the month of March, it is going to be about your creative energy, creative projects. It's about you know, finally, you know, uh, not being scattered when it comes to making a dream come true. Also, if you have children, you're going to spend more time with your children, be more responsible for, you know, um, how they're doing, you know, to make sure all is well with your children. The love energy is going to flow. If you're not in a good love relationship, you're going to find something that's better and you are going to focus on your work to make sure you are doing the work that is worthy of you. So there you have it. Scorpio, have a wonderful month.